Hi everyone, it's been a minute, but I wanted to show you something really cool that you can do in PowerPoint to bring into Canvas, and I'm sure Google Slides works the same way. What I want to do is create some interesting banners for my Canvas page, and I have two that I want to share with you. And so we're going to look at this banner here. This is just a, a demo banner with dummy text on the page, but I want to show you how you can get this effect, this interesting bracketed image effect with the you know gradient text here. And then I have another example down here. We'll pretend like this is two pages, and so this would be another banner for a canvas page, and how you can get this interesting effect with the image. And, and you know, it's just a little something that you can touch up your canvas pages. It's really easy to do right in PowerPoint. And so I'm going to show you how you can do that in PowerPoint, bring it over to canvas, and let's get going. Okay, so I have a new PowerPoint opened up and I'm going to change this layout to just a blank layout, get rid of all that stuff right there, but I'm going to add my own text box. So I'll go to insert text box and I'm going to add some dashes. I'm just going to add a handful of dashes, a dozen or so, and I want to highlight these and I don't like Calibri, the default font. I'm going to use something like um, a body, something really bold. And then what I'll do is I'll go to Format Shape with all that selected, and I'm going to go to Text Effects, and I'm going to apply a text effect to these dashes. And so I'm going to grab a wave right here, and then I'll drag it to the side of the screen, and I'm just going to drag this way over to the side right over there, maybe even off the screen just a touch. And I hold Control on my keyboard and scroll the mouse wheel to scroll in and out, to zoom in and out of the slide and I'm going to stretch this so that it's off the slide. I want, because it kind of waves at the top right there, I want that wave to be off of the slide, you know, just slightly. And then I could stretch it down, you do whatever you want. You could even adjust, if this is too big of a banner, like vertical wise, you could even go to design and say, I want this to be a custom height. And so maybe I want this to be 13 inches instead of seven and a half inches tall. Maybe I just want this four inches tall to have a more lean, like slender, or not slender, but you know, less height to my banner. I'm just gonna keep it at default, uh, just for right now. And so here I have, so it's, it's not much to look at. It looks kind of like a piano of sorts. And so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna insert a picture. And there's various ways you can do this. If you have the Office 365 subscription, you could browse stock photography. You can go to Unsplash or Pexels or Pixabay, get something free online. For me, I just uh, finished a trip to Maui about a month ago, and so I have all these pictures from Maui, and so I wanna select one of these pictures. Here's my beach picture that I want, and I'm just going to make this really small and put it off to the side. The picture doesn't really matter. But what I'm gonna do is copy the picture so that now it's on my clipboard, and then I'm going to highlight the text it's really dashes in there, but I'm going to format the text effects and I'm going to go over to the fill right here. So I'm formatting the text fill with a picture. And by default, it has like some textures or whatever that is, but I'm going to, since I copied my picture, I'm just going to paste from the clipboard and now I have my picture there. And notice it's a little bit slanted and that's okay, but I'm just going to put this off to the side a touch. Let's kind of eyeball it and yeah, something like that. And then you'll notice on the Canvas page, if I scroll back over to Canvas, then I have this text right here, and it's a gradient, and it's actually colors from the image. And how I did that is go to Insert, grab a text box again, and I'm going to say Aloha, and I will center that and position it kind of where I'm going to want it. And I'm gonna change the font to something a little more bold, um, perhaps Arial Black or Articulate Extra Bold, and I'm gonna bump it up a bit. So I'm gonna change the font color now, and I have text options over here, and I wanna put a gradient text option, and by default it does these blues, and I'm just gonna delete a couple of these blues here, the ones in the middle, and then for the top one, I'm gonna choose the eyedropper tool and grab a color from here right in this picture, and I'm gonna get some dark sand up top and then I'll get some light sand for the bottom. So I'm gonna go to eyedropper tool and then I'll grab one of these oranges. And so now it's literally the color of the sand and you know, determine if you like that font, if you like the size, 
uh, maybe 125 could be good and then I'll stretch this out a little bit all right so that's my first slide and if I preview the slide you can see what that looks like now I'm going to duplicate the slide control D and but I'm going to delete some of these elements here uh, maybe I'll keep this I'll put it off to the side for now and I'll keep the image I duplicated it because I still want to have this image and now I'm going to insert some shapes and so I'm going to go to shape and I'm going to do this rounded rectangle piece right here and then I'm going to just create a rectangle but I'm going to scooch it so that it's kind of a pill shape and so you can do that by moving this piece right here to change the roundness and I'm going to make them perfectly round like 50 percent of the radius right there and you can create a few of these you can just determine what the size is that you want and I'm gonna hold control and shift on the keyboard and just make some copies of these and so I'll hold control shift and then I'll select all four of these and it's just a real easy way for me that I can make a whole bunch of these all at one time alright and so now I'm going to just kinda of tinker around with these change the shape a little bit and I'll make some of them small let me hop in so I can get a little bit closer here and yeah, I'll make this one a little bit small and I'm gonna hold shift as I'm moving them around I'll hold shift on the keyboard and I'm finding that it's best if I adjust the bottom because the top has the I don't know what you call it the little key thing there that changes and so it's hard for me to drag up and so I'll just kind of drag from the bottom and I'll change the position of some of these I'll go ahead and fast forward as I'm doing this work. Alright, so now I have something interesting. I'm going to put these more so that they're kind of in the center. I'm just going to eyeball it. It doesn't really matter. And then I'm going to grab another shape. So we'll go insert and I'm just going to grab a regular rectangle now and I'm going to stretch it over the entire part of this and I'm going to send it to the back. So right click, send it to back and with that still highlighted, I'm going to hold shift on the keyboard and I'm going to highlight all of these other elements as well and then I'll go to shape format and merge shapes and I'm going to subtract the I don't know what you call those those pills that I created from the main sheet here and then I have the fill here I'm going to change that to white and then we'll go to shape format we're gonna put an effect on the shape and it's going to be a shadow it's gonna be a drop shadow and then I'll go to outline I'm gonna get rid of that outline and so now it's just a white box. What we have is the white rectangle with holes in all of these um, pills that we created and then a drop shadow. And so it gives an interesting effect. Now I'm gonna take this image that I grabbed earlier and I'm gonna stretch it over the entire thing. And I will push that to the back now. And you'll, you can see that I can, I'll be able to position it. And so it gives it kind of an interesting effect and you can determine you know where exactly you want the different elements which elements you want to appear because a lot of it is hidden and if I preview the screen you can see that oops that's the second slide so here's this slide here and you can see that only this part is going to be published so everything that's off the slide is not going to be published and then I can take my text here and I'll put it right there and I might bump it down a bit maybe to 85 or so 88 um, 88 sounds like a back to the future so, so that's a, a good one and then I'm going to with the box selected I'm going to go to font right here and go to character spacing and let's expand that so I'm gonna go spacing expanded by I don't know maybe 15 points you can see what that looks like all right, so it gives it a little bit more space so it's not so cluttered right there and we'll position that and then we're gonna go to save so you can go ahead and save this as a PowerPoint presentation what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna name this banners and I'm going to save it actually as a PNG or a JPEG whichever one and so it's gonna save as as images instead of slides and I'll save it's gonna ask um, do you want to export all the slides or just this one that you're on I want to export all of the slides and so then it says, okay, we created a folder and we put all of the slides in there. Okay, so now I have my banners saved and you can see that they're called slide one, slide two. I could name those something different. I'm gonna put them off to the side a little bit and now I have a banner test page 
and I'm just going to drag and drop my new images onto here. And I own the rights to this because I just created it and I give myself permission. And so then I'll go ahead and submit. I'm going to paste in there some boilerplate text and then we can go ahead and save this. So now you can see that it's a really big banner, you know, and I can do the hamburger menu. It's just like really big and the text is really wide. This is a 27 inch monitor that I'm working on right now. And so it's really cumbersome to have something that big. And so my trick here is what I do is I put a div at the top and I'll go style equals and I'm going to set a width of 800 pixels. And that's spanning the entire page. And it's just a real simple div. It's just an 800 pixel div. And then I'll remember to go at the very bottom and close out that div. And then when I save that, what that did is it's going to reduce it to 800 pixels. And this is why I was saying earlier that if you wanted to, you could go to design and you can create a custom height for your banner. If seven and a half inches, or it's really the ratio that we're looking at 13 by a third by seven and a half. And so if that's just really tall for you, then you can go ahead and create a, you know, three picks, a three inch height instead. And so it'd be 13 by three. And I might even go with, with a two, but you know, there's some interesting, you want a little bit of vertical elements here just because this happens to be an interesting banner. And so it could be for one of your more decorative pages, I would say. And so you have the flexibility to do that too, to change the height. And for me, I'm okay with this height just for, you know, for the sake of we're playing around with this. I'm going to go ahead and edit this page. We're going to delete that first banner. And now we're going to drop in the second banner. So I'm just going to put that right there, drag and drop. Again, I have the rights to that. And I'm going to go ahead and submit it. And we'll go ahead and save that and see this next effect. So I really like that. I think it's pretty classy. It's pretty fun. And you can customize the font as well. I focused really on the beach colors. But if I wanted more sky colors or water colors, then I could change the gradient. You can have that be solid as well. I just thought it would be a little bit fun to show you how to do the gradient effect right there. And so have fun with that. I'd love to see if you end up doing this in one of your courses, or even if it's in a sandbox course, and if you're able to link to it, I'd love to see the link in the comments, and I'd love to see your own creations, what you come up with, and I hope this is helpful for you. And until next time, Happy Digging and Morning!